Hello everyone, I'm Sasensi. I'm back here with Atlas. Say hello, Atlas. Hello. We're back after our little instant last episode. Yeah. Someone died. Yeah. Uh, ho hopefully that footage made its way to Atlas so he can use it. Oh wait, are we in do? the land of the past or the future? Because this video is going to go up in the future, but we're recording it in the past. Hmm. That is the question. Either way. Recordings in batch, people know that. Mm, except if they're new and they're just sitting here wondering if they should subscribe. And you know what they should do? Subscribe. If no, they, want they should to. decide for themselves. Jeez, I'm gonna force yeah, you exactly. to. Yeah, exactly. Dang. Not even respectful. Uh, uh, it's not, not like I just, you know, sit around there with a gun to their head. Subscribe. <laughs> I, I'm sure there's a channel that does that. It's just a prank. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. Oh, bloody hell, people like that just get on my nerves so much. It's just a social experiment. Yeah, say that next time someone punches you in the face for doing it. Mm. Oh, I saw this one thing when they actually killed the guy, guy's dog, and they're like, "Just a prank, just a prank, just a prank." But my dog's dead. Like it's not a, it's not a prank at that point. No, that's animal cruelty. Yeah. And well, you... uh, no, it's okay. animal cruelty, and they need uh, to go to jail. Yes, they need to go to jail. I don't doubt that. But if it's, I don't know. I... It's a great. It is thing. animal cruelty because they just killed the dog. It depends how they killed the dog. No, they they just killed it. Uh, was the dog physically fit? Or was mentally it fit? Fat. Doesn't matter. If it was fat. Was it? It basically no, in because good fat dogs are funny and they're nice and cuddly. That's what I'm asking. Oh, because if it's a big fluffy I'm, I'm, dog and you kill it, it's like you're just a murderer. It's like killing. Santa. <sighs> it's like just. What? So I, I've I've never had a fat dog. You've never had a fat dog? Yeah, my dog's very muscular as well. It's creepy. Uh, our dogs never get taken for walks. Hmm. They just they eat everything, and we don't take them for walks because you know it's like. We just don't want to take them We just don't have time to. There's three of them, and you can't walk mm. them together. Do you have mutts or purebreds? Uh, well, I think one's a pedigree Labrador. The other's a mongrels, as they would be called. Mongrels? What's that? It's basically mutts. Oh, just like a bunch of breeds. Uh, well, well, mutt. Mutt is actually the male for dog. I think. Mm. Like you know how how bitch is female. <laughs> Hey, it's it's a fact. It's I, a fact. I know, but people aren't going to take it that way. Oh, they can take it either way they want. I don't care. <sighs> I, I and do. that can be used as an innuendo. So you just called someone or something that. <laughs> but either way. It's just a prank. But then again, with uh, mongrel dogs, they actually on average live longer than pedigrees yeah a lot of purebred dogs are like not fit to live no like, because all the ones with the extra so much... skin they're like back breaks and the like the wiener dogs their back breaks yeah it's because they're, they're so what's it like interbred yeah and plus their immunity is all screwed up because they are interbred they die of diseases that's why yeah, you I'm should always thinking. just get a mutt and plus they're a whole lot more pretty than purebreds in my opinion yeah, I prefer the more wolf-looking dogs yeah. to all these, like, squash nose, round-faced... Pugs are disgusting. Pe yeah, like, pe people say it's because, oh yeah, people like rounded, cute stuff, because it reminds them of children. No, yeah. that's cuteness. It's just like... I, I, I say, it, it's, in, it's in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. But... I, okay. I, I can I can see where the whole thing of like oh yeah it's rounded it it's supposed to l looks like more like a young. It could just be I'm male, and being male I don't really have to give a crap about kids. Hmm. Like, like yeah. nature dec nature decrees that all I really have to do is just have kids and then go. That's all I have to do, mm. and I'll, I've I've been a success to my species. Well, no, humans actually... are actually built for. Like if you were to look at no no, it, no. It... but I'm I'm saying na nature wise that's all the male is there for pass on the genes of the species. 
yeah. and he's done. That's it. But we we've evolved beyond that. Yes, because we don't see it that savages. way. I mean, well, well, me we, well, we still are. The but... majority of people. No, the majority aren't. But no, the majority of people are just like yeah, they sleep with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Uh, or maybe this is us. Maybe that's a stereotype we have against everyone else. Yeah, uh, I mean, no offense if people want to live like that. Sure, go ahead. But. Well, I suppose it's the difference between like a one night thing for like between pleasure and actually like trying to reproduce. Because mm. cause we have the means to stop reproduction. Yeah. In various easy ways. Yeah, you don't, I mean, it's like what? Are you don't want a kid? Well, spend a pound, get a condom. There you go. Hey, All well and good. Hey, okay. <laughs> Welcome to Sex Ed with Sensei and Atlas. That's what I was afraid of. It's just that three-year-old. Hey, hey. So, uh, when a man and a woman love each no, other... No, stop. Very... Okay, just... We talk about some weird stuff, but this is the place where a mother calls. Oh, come on. Ev everyone bloody knows already. This is... Kids have a... Kids have access hey. to the internet and rule 34 by, like, age 5. Okay, yeah. You d okay, good. I d yeah, okay. Yeah. It's just it's weird being somewhat of a public figure and then saying, I, you know. No, but I, I feel, though, if you are a public figure, you do that. Like, if, if you are going to talk about that subject, you have the right to and voice your opinion on it. Like, that just went completely off topic how we were talking about it, but yeah, it was completely random. Like, like most of the things we say. Yeah, but that's just how it works, I reckon. Oh, and if anyone's wondering, no, I don't think that's how I'm going to live my life. <laughs> I'm not just going to be like, yep, I've, there you are, I've, I've, I've made kids, I'm good, I can die now. No, I'm not like that. By the age of 20, he was off the planet. That's all he needed. <laughs> what are you want about? And that's why humans will die out, is because women don't need humans, except for the fact that we, the biological thing. No, it, it's, it's getting to that point now where, yeah, men are... Like, science can make men obsolete. Yeah, like, right you, can, now. you can make the thing in a lab. It's not too hard. Don't say that feminists will revolt. Well, uh, not all feminists. Extremists. Yeah, I agree with... Feminists. Hold on. I want to say a few things. Yeah. I agree with most feminists, but the ones like you see on the internet that are like all crazy and like, yeah, like, kind of racist. like True feminism, like for actual equality for of female everyone. rights. Yeah. I agree with that. Everyone's That's fair enough, yeah. Even though we'll probably never truly get to true equality, we should always try to fight for that. But yeah, like, and I, 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 and I, what I definitely do appreciate from those feminists is when they appreciate the advantages that women do have. Yeah, because they they do have some, and men have some. They're just focusing on the negative voice. Yeah, think. that. But a lot of the extremist feminists just take it far too far. Hmm. And it it drives me mad sometimes. Just like, why can't you just accept the fact that you live in a world where the majority of people are tolerant, and some aren't. You have equal opportunity to get stuff. Well, as that's the thing. Else. They believe they don't. Uh, what was it? The wage gap and all that that keeps popping up. That's false. Yeah, it, it, that that's generally just because of the jobs they measured, and but that that's purely dependent on how, who the person is, like how they work, their work ethic, how much time they have off, and there's and so chance. It, there there's a chance that that's just a thing. There's always just yeah. a chance that numbers will be different. I mean, you know, you could just end up like one person could just end up with a boss that hates them. And so it's getting less pay. You never know. It can happen. Yeah. What do you think would have happened if the science would have came out that men made less money? What do you think what would have happened? Or do you think nothing uh, would have happened because we just wouldn't care? Nothing. 
nothing yeah. would nothing would have happened because men don't give a shit. Mm. Well, the majority of men don't give a shit. <sighs> uh, uh, I uh, oh, this reminds me. I saw I did I saw a video of like a man campaigning for men's rights. You're even more uh, of the problem. Like, why? If we just stop talking about racism and sexism, it goes away. Yeah, it's one of the few he, things. If you don't, it's address the fact it, it we goes keep away. bringing it back up. Because the three-year-old that's growing up somewhere doesn't know what racism is or sexism until he's taught what it is. Yeah, and as soon as he's taught what it is, he can then choose use it. Yeah. So if it's never addressed, nothing happens. For like, most I know, problems, I know, that's not the case. I, I know. I know. Eventually, like they'll get old enough, and if, like, say, you know. You, there is like this child, and he eventually meets someone of a different coloured skin. The first thing he's going to say is like, "Oh, your skin's different colour to mine." He's not being racist; he's just pointing out a fact there. Yeah. No, obviously, if he does, then decide to, you know, if yeah, there is a clear line between racism and questions. Yeah, which many people seem to overlook. You, like, you right, can't... right, right. Um. With with racism and like sexism, there's a very clear line well no no it's not clear actually no it's very unclear it's the weird thing that it can be clear it seems like it should be clear but it's, it's context not. and how tolerant the person is hmm. i reckon if the person isn't tolerant of it there and they're just like oh no you say one but like, you, you even call me like black then you're being racist Oh, that, that reminds me of an advert I saw in school. Mm -hmm. Really funny. It's like uh, a a a black person was saying like, "Okay, when I'm ill, I'm black. When I'm hot, I'm black. When I'm cold, I'm black." And then he said, "And you, Mister White Man, when you're <laughs> ill, you're green. When you're hot, you're red. Uh... When you're cold, you're blue. And you have the cheek to call me coloured." Uh, that's funny. And it was just and like, true. yeah, and it it was funny, and very true. Yeah, yeah, it is. I just don't get why we can't all just get along. Cause it's in it's in our nature. There is some douchebags out there. I'm not gonna not admit that. Yep. There is some sexist scumbags out there that yeah, it's bad, and there is some bad people. But the majority of people aren't horrible. No, at least I'd like majority to think though. I think so. But yeah, it's also upbringing that. But let's not go into that topic. Yeah, <laughs> We've gone into it too many times before. It's all aliens, that, YouTube. It's always what comes up. It's those three things. Aliens what? On YouTube? Like the three things that come up like all the time that like people get really sensitive about. Should we talk about religion? <laughs> We've done that before. <laughs> and yeah. see, the funny thing is my beliefs and your beliefs are very different, but we can still mm. sit down and play video games and stuff and uh, you know, have fun. I, don't, I, I really don't care if you believe in God. It doesn't affect me. Mm, it's Yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, that would be funny. <laughs> No, I don't care. Heathen. <laughs> Heathen. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, you can have a good laugh and a joke about it. Like, what is it? My, my future brother-in-law, he's mm -hmm. a Christian. And his entire family... No, not Christian, Catholic. Oh, oh Catholics. Uh -huh. Yeah. And his entire family is Catholic. And pretty much the majority of my family is, like, atheist agnostic. Hmm. Yeah. And it's just like, well, my sister who's getting married to him, they're having kids literally this month. Wait, what is your sister then? She's, uh, pretty sure she's, uh, atheist. Ah, that's gonna be an interesting relationship. It's just like, I know, I know in their house, they have like, they have the cross in there. And he, he and they do have the religious stuff. But mm -hmm. I, I reckon there's gonna be like some form of compromise between them. Like, how, but that's how, how the kids would be raised in that sort of regard. I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to go in detail on this. 
No, nah, go for it. Uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, so the thing is, from mm -hmm. a Christian standpoint, it's completely unacceptable for your spouse not to believe in the same thing you do. Yeah, I, I've, al I've always heard. I've always heard that a lot. Yeah. And the problem is with a lot of Christians, they seem pushy, and that's horrible. Because then it gives a very bad light on what a Christian is supposed to be. Yeah, it, it makes them seem like... But this is something yeah. like, like all Abrahamic religions, like Christianity, Catholicism, which I basically... And, well, Judaism, Islam. Basically, you all believe in one God, and you all have the same basic set of rules which say, don't be a dick. Okay, I'm going to explain one more thing now. Have you ever read the Bible in its entirety? I'm just asking. Have you? I'm very close, actually. I'm about to <laughs> That's a no, then. Well, I've, hey, I've, I'm like, I'm very close to the end of it. It takes like a couple <laughs> years to read the thing. Okay. No, it doesn't. It really it, doesn't. It does. You get through. You get through in a week. I'd like to see you try. I've read books beyond the Bible in a week. Okay. Whatever. I forgot my point. Hold up. What was I talking about? But, but yeah, you know, you know what I mean. You, it, it's ge generally the similarities between religions. So you, you, one God. Oh, and okay. It's basically Islam, Christianity, and Judaism all stem from the same place. Yeah, you, you all believe yes. in one God, and you've got the basic set of rules which are telling you to be. A good person. No, I'm talking about like in the stories that are all the same thing until they branched off. Yeah, yeah, they are. They that's why they're all Abrahamic religions. Yes. The, the I don't know what to call them. I don't want to say Jews. That just sounds semitistic or whatever it's called. But it's what they are. Okay, I'll just use that. I'm not being racist or anything. The you Jews. Or just say the Jew or the Jewish people. The Jew, okay, the Jewish people believe. Okay, I'm not going into that. Never mind. I don't know. Oh, just say it. Like, I, no, I've seen what PewDiePie has gone through, and I don't want to go through that. Well, no, no. we're not being anti-Semitic. I know, anything. but... You... We're expressing, like, legitimate <sighs> views here. No, as far as I'm concerned, if anyone takes mm -hmm. this out of context and there's something wrong with them, we're not trying to be hostile here. We are, you know, facing <laughs> our views. I know. Okay. Everyone has the right it's, to believe what they want. Religion's a very touchy subject in the world. It really is. Yeah. But in, in, like, like I said, in regard, it is just the same thing. Just basically be a good person. There you yeah. go. You'll, you'll... Just don't, don't, don't be an asshole. Yep. You might have been born an asshole, but you're not going to stay one. Well, everyone is born one. Yep. Scientifically, we all come from... Yeah, the, the first part you to develop is your butthole. Your digestive That's... tract's actually the first thing. Well, it's the second thing. Yeah, so, so, so your butthole. <laughs> it's the beginning at of your one, digestive tract. At one point in our life, we were all assholes. <laughs> uh, literally and metaphorically. No, I'm good with that. We all got out of our systems when we were very young. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, yes. How much longer we got? Uh, about another five minutes. Ah. Uh. All right, I do want to say I do I I want to address something. I have oh. noticed since we've been having these kinds of dis discussions lately. Yes. Numbers have dropped a little bit, and I'm trying to figure out if that is. I don't think that's the conversation. I know. Related stuff. I know. I just hold up. When we post these kind of videos, view numbers and watch time goes down. So I'm trying to figure out if people have a problem with us talking about this. So if you well, would if so they, kindly put do, in they, the comments. They, if they have a problem with us, then they can voice it. Yes. And but in all fairness, with a game like From the Depths, what are we really going to do? I love talk how we've taken crap. From the Depths and talk about religion and stuff. It's weird. The hey, there's a religious faction. They're fanatics. Uh, yeah, we're talking about the white flares. That's what we've been talking but about. They flay your along. skin. Ah. And they make burgers, probably. Burgers. Ah, oh, the, the heathens. They make burgers. I bet they put oh. bacon on them burgers. Don't. Don't make me hungry. A bacon burger. Oh, that's what I want right now. Burger, 
bacon. Jalapenos. Oh, yes. Spicy. Ooh, spicy mayo. Put some spicy mayo on that. French. Mm. A nice side of crispy, salty french fries. Yeah, a nice side of fries. Mm. What do you guys eat with a burger? Or, do uh, you have fries? Or are they called crisps? Or yeah, we, chips or no. Something? Fries, uh, fries. Like McDonald's fries are fries. Mm. That's what fries are. Thin, really thin, crispy chips, generally. Mm. Oh, I don't prefer chips, but fries will do. Huh. Just, just the amount of salt on fries, mostly. That's what makes them good, though. Nah, far too much salt. Mm. Like a little bit of salt's fine. Kind of far too much salt. Hmm. Then anyway, I can't remember like, the last time I ate at a fast food restaurant. Oh, they're disgusting. Yeah, I, I, I just can't remember. When was the last time I went to McDonald's? Like, I physically walked in. My oh, parents just I haven't done that in like three years. Yeah, like, like that last time I think I ate at McDonald's sometime this year, it's, it's got brought back home. And well, you don't refuse food. That's rude. It's rude of if it. If it, well, if it's already been bought for you, it's rude. Oh, to... well, yeah, that's rude. If someone's already yeah. bought you the thing, you're like, no, I'm gonna go get some else. That is rude. Yeah, that's rude. But um, so, yeah, I, I actually can't. I think I was like twelve. So like eight years ago, and I was with my yeah, I think I was just with my dad at the time. Hmm. Oh, that was a that was a fun time. <laughs> just walk in. Can I have like ten cheeseburgers, please? <laughs> ten, ten cheeseburgers, please. And uh, one time, the cashier turned and said, "What? All for you?" <laughs> like, I, of course, I'm eating him over the yeah. next three weeks. It's my lunch <laughs> for every day. Yep, ten quid for ten burgers. Mm. That's how you live cheap and probably mm. have cancer. Cheap and fat. And disease causing. Let's not go into the whole, you know, cheap cheap food is worse for you. Well, no, we, if we, there are some people financially that have to do that, and that's, there's yeah, nothing wrong with that. I understand, that. like... But if oh, well, you have I, the I money, see. don't go buy fast food, like, all of the no. time. No. Eat a steak. Crying it loud. Go, go buy... Go buy the supermarket own brand stuff. It might be cheap, but at least you can guarantee it's semi and okay actual for food. You. Yeah, and not some pink slop. <laughs> I remember that. Good God. Oh, did you watch those like videos? <laughs> yes. Just <sighs> horrible. Now anyway, 100... let's start the outro. Okay. Now 100% white meat chicken. What was it before? Oh, what, what, what was it? Like, oh, like the horse meat scandal over oh. here. I heard about that. It's like we found out there's been they've been putting horse in our beef lasagnas for years. <laughs> beef lasagnas. I'm like I'm, I'm just like what? Why? Why? I I know it says it's beef, but what what's wrong with eating horse? I I've never got that too. It's horse. What does but it taste it, like? It, I don't know. Well, you... I've probably eaten it, but I don't know what it tastes like. You probably eaten it. You just didn't know what it was. Yeah. Ooh, have you ever but, eaten but... snake? No, I want to. It's like fish and chicken. Mm. Like a really fishy fish. They got to hope the snake isn't big enough to eat you. Mm. Oh, that'd be terrifying if they're in, like in Africa or like in the Sahara. There was like huge snakes. <laughs> they do the though. No, like huge snakes. I'm talking about like the size of houses, like pop up and like. <laughs> I know there's like uh. huge ones, like the size of a desk, but. Eh. And there's even it's like nice. the pythons or something that like yeah those, huge. those things are massive. They'd eat you for breakfast twice over. Hmm. The shoulders on humans is what usually keeps us from being eaten. Generally, yeah, because they try to eat you from the head <laughs> first and they can't. <laughs> All right, either way, let's start the outro. Uh, thank yeah. you all so much for watching this video. Please leave us some comments on what was good, what was bad, what was neutral, or what you found funny. Um, I think we know what was bad. <laughs> yeah, I think we know what was bad too. Uh, post your. Yeah, yeah I, I do want to say one thing. Let's keep religion out of the comments. You can tell us if you don't want us to talk about it. 
just let's not have a discussion on that. Like, or, or if if you really feel like you have to bring it up, then, then, then no it. hate, yeah. no no flame war, N no. Or I will because be we will comments. be watching. Yes, I will be deleting comments. If it comes and that up. doesn't mean test us either. No. They go. It happens multiple times. You get banned. All I gotta say about that. All right, what are you doing over there on your channel other than this series, my friend? Over on my channel, I'm playing XCOM 2. Actually, now am I still playing XCOM 2? <laughs> I should be. <laughs> I don't know. It's By this time, <laughs> all right. I don't know. I m I might have killed all the aliens. Maybe. Um, I'm also playing Hearts by and Four. I think. Maybe. And I can get, think I'm playing Avorian as well. Yeah, I don't think I had a reason to quit that series yet. We think we're, we're still going to be doing YouTube by the time this comes up. <laughs> this is just a lone like trail here along the mountainside. A bit of a missile from following. Oh, oh I see it. When's it going to run out of fuel? Oh, it's not there. No idea. No, there's no missile. It's, it's just, just a trail. trail. <laughs> this, is, this is brilliant. We, I've bugged the game. Oh, we turn into five-year-olds. Oh, it's going back and forth. Yeah, we turn into five-year-olds. This is the <laughs> screenshot. It's one. It's one of those big snakes you're on about. Oh, it's a fire python. Oh, fire it's bigger snake. than our. It's just as big as our tanks. <laughs> oh, oh it good is. god, that would be scary. Oh, that'd be terrible. Hey, what are you doing on your channel? Uh, I live stream every five, every Friday at 5.30 Central Standard Time. I always try to say that all at once, and it just gets cl clogged. Um, <laughs> I, can't, yeah. I can't speak. I, c I can't do words right now. Um, I'm trying to figure out some other series to do, so if you want something done, post a comment about it. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>